Hello and welcome to the Rhythm and Roots Show with Rowan and Al of the Dublin City Rounders, your weekly dose of ragtime, music hall, bluegrass, country blues, early jazz, western swing and more. We've got live sessions and interviews with guests local and around the world recorded at Beardfire Studio, Dublin, Ireland. Be sure to like Rhythm and Roots on Facebook, catch up with the podcast on Spreaker.com and don't forget you can become a Rhythm and Roots Patreon patron today. Now enjoy the show. Hello ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome to Rhythm and Roots on Near FM 90.3 on this Friday afternoon. Hope you're all doing well wherever you may be. I'm doing well. Are you doing well, Al? I'm doing quite well wherever I may be. Well, wow, very good. Maybe. Mm. Uh, we've got a great show for you today. Uh, two wonderful, wonderful guests joining us later in the program. Zoe Clark, uh, absolutely wonderful uh, young artist, uh, beautiful, beautiful voice. She'll be joining us later in the show. And also Roulette, uh, great songwriter in the second part of the program, joining us then. But before that, we've got lots of great music to get through. Uh, we're going to start with Hartman's Heartbreakers featuring Betty Lou. This is Fetch It On Down To My House. <laughs> So let's listen to a little bit of a Donnie Poindexter now. What a name. Mm. Uh, he can trace his connections with cattle, horses, land and community back five generations. His great, great grandfather on his mother's side ran an open range cattle, uh, ran open range cattle. So you, I've given away that I'm reading this. Yeah, on kind of. Paper I, if now, it wasn't though. obvious before that, <laughs> it definitely is now. Oh, grandfather on his mother's side ran open range cattle. On the blue stem uh, and Indian grass in what was then Indian Territory. His Confederate States uh, of America tombstone still stands in the family cemetery. Uh, absolute wonderful uh, artist. Absolutely wonderful artist. A lot of the songs about cowboys, mm, not going to lie. Are, which, which is kind of what caught our attention initially. Well, I, if a cowboy doesn't catch your attention, I think there's something wrong with your yeah. attention. Uh, is, is I think your attention belongs in detention mm. in that case. Uh, so let's have a little listen to some Donnie Poindexter. This is a little song called Born. Born. 
to be a cowboy. It's about me. The painted walls of Paladura, how my heart can see them yet. As a boy of 18 summers, long before I knew regret. There I rode the bold unwilling, and my loop was keen and true. And even in the dead of winter, the sky seemed always blue. And it's been saddle horse and catch wine that has been my life. Some say it's been my downfall for the world. Has passed me by The life I live I freely chose I'm at it yet tonight I was born To be a cowboy And I will be Till I die In the heat Of summer Brandon Would get an early start Jingle in the horses, saddle in the dark. Ride out on the morning without a spoken word. The ring of spur, the fall of hoof was all that could be heard. And it's been saddle horse and catch twine. That has been my life Some say it's been my downfall For the world has passed me by The life I live I freely chose I'm at it yet tonight And I was born to be a cowboy And I will be till I die Trophy buckles, things you hold with pride. So I grow dim, will mean as much what you got inside. Oh, but I've got lots of memories to me with more than gold. And I can say I'm ready, Lord, anytime it's time to go. It's been saddle horse and catch twine That has been my life Some say it's been my downfall For the world has passed me by Life I live, I freely chose I'm at it yet tonight And I was born to be a cowboy And I will be I die and I was born to be a cowboy and I will be till I die Oh black dog when I'm gone Lord Lord Oh black dog when I'm gone when I come back with the tin dog Honey, where you been so long? My daddy, he's a gambler. He taught me how to play. Told me to bet my money on a suit, jack and trade. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone, Lord, Lord. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone. I'm gone when I come back with the ten dollar bill and it's honey where you been so long
been all around Kentucky, the state of old Tennessee. Anywhere I hang my hat, it'll be home, sweet home to me. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone, Lord, Lord. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone. When I come back with the ten dollar bill, and it's honey, where you been so long? Coming, she is packing my casket alone. Going to the graveyard where the grave will be my home. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone, Lord, Lord. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone. When I come back with the ten dollar bill, and it's honey, where you been so long? Nick Justice there with Old Black Dog, and we are going to get straight into Prince Albert Hunt with Blues in a Bottle. Right after that, we've got a wonderful interview with Zoe Clark, so do enjoy. This is Prince Albert Hunt with Blues in a Bottle. Hello, 
ladies and gentlemen. You're all very welcome back to Rhythm and Roots on Near FM 90.3 on this Friday evening. Uh, it is my pleasure and privilege to announce that we have in studio Zoe Clark. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. You know, you're like one of the first people who's actually greeted the people listening. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Everyone else, usually they're just like, yeah, I'm amazing. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I saw some of your videos online. Uh, really, really impressive. The Dublin City Today videos are great. Yeah. Uh, your versions and renditions of songs are really um, clear and sweet and strong. What got you started? Did you start singing or playing guitar first? Playing guitar. Really? Yeah. And this was when you were, how old were you? I first got my guitar when I was three, but I didn't get lessons till seven. Well, so what was your poor guitar doing for all those four years? Just just messing around with it. <laughs> just being, being sad. And going. So you did you did muck around with it, but yeah. didn't... Yeah. Okay. Do you remember what your first lessons were like? What was the first songs you learned? I think We Will Rock You or Galway Girl or something. We Will Rock You is a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice half time. Was it E minor, D and a G or something like yeah. that? <laughs> Galway Girl. So you'd be fine at like any pub gig. So when someone screams out Galway Girl, they'll get what they want, yeah? Yeah. Do you still play it at sets? No. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to have a, a refresh. Yeah. So in terms of your, like your favourite artists, we were talking about it before, a little bit before we started recording Ed Sheeran and people like that. Yeah. You're a big fan. You like One Direction as well. What was your first, like, do you remember your first, like, this is my favourite band kind of band? No, I think One Direction would have been my favourite band. Yeah. Well, Michael Jackson. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's good as well. It's great that you've got a um, an appreciation for older music as well. Yeah. It's hugely important, I think, particularly if you're writing songs, uh, to be able to not limit yourself to just the latest stuff, you know? Yeah. One Direction, who was your favourite? I actually don't know. Probably Niall Horror. Oh, Niall's great. He was, his solo stuff was very good, I thought. Yeah, and Harry's as good as well. Yeah, exactly. I thought I was really impressed with, um, for, like, for me, you know, I'm a 33-year-old man, so I'm not, like, a directioner if you know what i mean that'd be yeah. a bit weird but uh no i do appreciate some of their songs are really really good and um but i was i was impressed particularly with with niall and uh and harry's solo stuff afterwards yeah very credible like yeah you are good very good uh who who was better do you reckon after after one direction i don't know they're a bit different it is different isn't yeah. it because like harry's got like long curly hair and niall's got like short <laughs> I, I, I know way too much about this so you sing a lot at school you do the yeah. choir yeah, do you, do you ever get like the lead? Kind of, how does choir work? I don't know. I was never in a choir. In our choir, there is no really lead unless you're doing like this thing called the manual. Oh, okay. I know that. You have to audition for it. I didn't do it though. Did you ever do any um, stage? Like, because I know they have plays and stuff like that. It's yeah, I done the school musical. How two was, years what ago. was it? It was like a mix. It was like a variety show, all oh. different musicals. Oh, okay. It was just songs, no singing. There was no acting. So it was like one after the other yeah. songs. What song did you do? Seasons of Love. Yeah, lovely. From yeah. Rent and what was the other one? I don't remember. Oh, A Million Dreams from The Great Showman. Oh, what? oh man. The Great yeah. Showman's really good. Yeah, I actually haven't seen it. <laughs> what? I, I, I know all the songs. But <laughs> we, need to, we need to have an intervention here. I mean, it was actually, it was funny because um, we hadn't seen it, myself and Al. And uh, 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 one of our, our young students... 11 year old you know she's like you've got to see the greatest showman i'm like oh i don't want to see it it's like you can't say no to an 11 year old who's like begging you to watch a movie and she said before i see you again you've got to watch the greatest showman i'm like okay so me and alex we <laughs> we sat down I'm like here we go we're watching the greatest showman I'm like half like no not even halfway through it like the first song we were like completely invested yeah. uh and it was great and what we ended up doing was they do a lot of like um crazy percussion stomping yeah. and all that kind of stuff and we were doing some recording at the time and uh we had an old i think it's still out there somewhere we had an old uh pool table like a small size pool table and uh the next day we had a recording session so we flipped the pool table upside down put a bunch of microphones around it and we all just stomped on it <laughs> <laughs> and used it in the song you know point is watch the greatest showman and you'll get really good ideas yeah, I will. I'll go home and watch it. <laughs> you better, yeah, 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 before we see you again. So in terms of uh, your live performance, the, the main thing you're doing, obviously, at the moment is the busking. Yeah, busking. And when did you start that? Just before Christmas. Just before Christmas. So it must have been pretty cold. Yeah, it was freezing. <laughs> <laughs> your fingers were getting on and you wouldn't be able to f finger pick around. Yeah, I know. Did, lock. Have you tried um, fingerless gloves? 
I, I bought normal gloves and just cut them. <laughs> oh, okay. Fingers just, just cut them. That's very good because I thought you were going to finish that sentence with I bought normal gloves and wasn't able to play the guitar with them because <laughs> you'd have absolutely no chance. But yeah, it works, doesn't it? Just yeah. about. It's wild. We we did uh, we do this gig at Christmas in Harold's Cross and uh, it's only a few songs. And I remember one of the years it was absolutely freezing and, and we turned up there and uh, same thing. Totally frozen to the to, to the core, you know. We were waiting. There's not really a backstage. You're just standing in a field, and a great crowd, like a couple of thousand people, go to this thing. But um, I personally, and I think you were the same. We oh. couldn't feel our hands at all. No. So what we had to do was listen and look and see if we were actually playing the right chords because there was <laughs> zero like feedback. And thank God it was just rock and roll. It was like E, A, and B. You know what I mean? There was none of this intricate kind of... We weren't trying to play Blackbird or something. So we'd have no chance. But uh, yeah, take care of your hands. <laughs> Wear the gloves, for goodness sake. And um, strum yeah. when in doubt. It's like, you know, when you start a song and it's like, no, this isn't going to work. Just strum. Just strum. Strum it out. So you're going to continue busking through the summer. Yeah. Then, of course, you've got um, Leave and Cert and all that kind of thing coming up after that. Yeah. Wow, it's going to be tough. Yeah, You'll final year. Final year. But you're doing music for it. Yeah. Which is something you love, so you should be grand. Yeah, hopefully I'll pass music. <laughs> <laughs> I love that confidence. You'll be fine. Jeez, if, it's, if, the, uh, if your performance on today's show is anything to go by, you'll be absolutely fine. So speaking of it, uh, we're about to listen to the tune. Uh, before we do, just let people know where they can find you. Uh, Zoe Clark Music, is it? On? Zoe Clark Music underscore. Underscore. Don't forget the underscore. No. Who, what, is there some other Zoe Clark music? Yeah. She has one follower. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. So you've uh, you've sorted her out anyway. <laughs> Sorry, other Zoe Clark, but we got the real one here. Um, with the underscore. You're the one yeah. with the underscore and with more than one follower, thank yeah. God. Uh, so do get online, Instagram. That's probably the best place to find you. But you're, yeah. you're also on YouTube as well. Yeah, YouTube. But post more on Instagram. You post more on Instagram. And there's good... Um, like I was saying at the start of this, the Dublin City Today, there's loads of good videos of you up there. The song people are about to hear is a song we recorded in the studio. It's a Coldplay tune. Um, what made you pick this song how, uh, when you when you first decided to, to cover it? I just really was into Coldplay at the time. So right. I said I'd learn this one. Did you learn a few Coldplay tunes? Yeah. Which was the other ones? Yellow. Oh, Yellow's great. Well, this is what I, what I was happy about as well is... You know, it's uh, it's not off the first record, this one, but it's one of the earlier songs, yeah. isn't it? You know, and I think I think they were great. I think their first couple of albums were great, and um, I I don't think they got bad, but I just stopped kind of following them. You know, yeah. But um, yeah, lovely song, and and you you really make it your own. Uh, give it a great sense of um, emotion, you know, which is wonderful. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're about to hear is Fix You by Coldplay. Zoe Clark. Uh, listen, Zoe, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. It won't be the last time people are hearing you on the radio, uh, and we can't wait as well to hear some of your original music coming very soon as well, hopefully. Cheers, Zoe. Thanks. When you try your best but don't succeed when you get what you want, but not what you need When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep Stuck in reverse And the tears come streaming down your face
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're all very welcome back to Rhythm and Roots on Near FM 90.3 on this Friday afternoon. I am joined in studio today by Rolette. Very good. <laughs> very good. Yeah, sorry. The, the reason I was congratulated for saying that is because I used to be calling you Rowlet. Yeah. And Rowlet is perfect. Rollette is better, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I probably shouldn't have even brought that up, should I? I should have just <laughs> moved on into the interview, but I had to uh, come back to that. I told you you wouldn't be the stupid one in this interview, don't <laughs> worry. So, Rollette, uh, later in the show, we're going to hear, obviously, your live track, uh, Letters. It's, a, it's an unreleased song. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a new one that is not out yet, but there is a song that is out. We played it on the last two shows, or um, no, two previous and the one before, uh, Footprints on the Moon. Yes. Released, recorded, and written all to coincide with the 50th anniversary of there the moon landing. Yes, I feel very passionate about the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must do because your previous single was Howling at the Moon. Yeah. So there's some progression there. Uh, first you're Howling and now the footprints are on it. Yes, there you go. I've told my mother my next song is going to be Coming Back Down to Earth. Oh, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. Is, so it's kind of like a, a, a trilogy. There's an arc there. Is there yeah. is, really? No, a, no. Like narrative? Uh, <laughs> no? Oh, okay. No, <laughs> no I, do, um, I do really like the moon, but I'm not as obsessed with it as it's coming across. Through, my, okay, okay. <laughs> through the releases of my songs. So yeah, the first song was Howling at the Moon um, and this one was Footprints on the Moon and it was just purely coincidence. But um, I just thought they were the names that, that fit best and yeah, they, wonderful. They, they were both about the moon. So <laughs> oh, You can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, so Howling at the Moon, uh, that's harking back now to November uh, last year. Mm-hmm. Now that is, you consider that your debut single? Yeah. Roll that. Yeah. So, so before that, sorry, I, I keep cutting you off, but, but before that, I want to get some background. Um, like you've a, you've an incredible voice, uh, okay. really um, great range and dynamic and emotion and ability to kind of deliver uh, exactly what you, you're, you're talking about. And before we were on air, you, you mentioned that you were uh, part of the Trinity Bells. Yes. Uh, besides that, what was your introduction into music and what have you done before the whole roulette part mm-hmm. of your f- phase of your life. Yeah, so I've been singing forever, I suppose, since I was a little one. But um, then I picked up a guitar when I was about 12, 13. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my parents thought if they sent me to lessons after about a week, I'd just get bored and give up. But right. uh, unfortunately for everyone involved, <laughs> <laughs> I kept playing, um, wrecking everyone's heads at home. But I never really played for anyone um, outside, of, outside of my house, my bedroom. Um, and I was writing songs for years, but I never really shared them with mm-hmm, anyone. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't until I moved up to Dublin and one of my friends, who is a musician as well, I told her I was writing songs and she really wanted to hear them. So I uh, played her one of my songs that she just started crying. It was all very emotional. <laughs> um, and she really encouraged me to pursue it. And it was that again. bad, yeah? <laughs> I had you, I had you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. And no one's had the courage to tell me to stop since. <laughs> like, look how happy she looks. When they keep like, crying. Oh, no. it's so, yeah. you know. And even the happy songs, they yeah. just keep crying. <laughs> um, so then, yeah, then I applied for BIM. So I did the songwriting diploma in BIM cool. um, whilst I was doing my degree. And that was really fun. And I kind of, I suppose, got my confidence up a little bit more then. So since then, I've been kind of just uh, writing away and writing with more people. And then, um, yeah, I recorded the single. So I suppose it took me a little longer than it gets to, than a lot of people um, to get the first one out there. But yeah, so the first one that I released was, like you said, last November. And it was Howling at the Moon. So kind of the message behind that song is to, it was kind of about someone who very much stood up for themselves, Mm. wasn't afraid what people think and just kind of went for it. So I thought it was a good song for my first release Mm -hmm, mm because it was kind of me like... Strong and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm just going to, I'm just going to (laughs) sing. Even if you all keep crying, I'm just going (laughs) to sing anyway. Um, So yeah, that was my, that was my first one. And then uh, fast forward to, well, July, was it the 12th of July, was it? 12th of July, And that's uh, Footprints on the Moon Arrived. Yeah. Uh, Touched down, landed. <laughs> I don't know how many more stupid landed, yes, space perfect. puns I can make. Uh, oh god, sorry, my brain has actually gone into like <laughs> orbit thinking about all this. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I will genuinely stop. Uh, you put the single out, the I second did. single, and the response has been great. Um, I've been seeing things pop up all over the place on Facebook and Instagram. People playing it uh, on the radio, getting little features here and there as well. Um, the one, oh, what's that one? Uh, La Future Wave. Oh, okay, yeah. you wrote it recently. That was really yeah. cool. 
so what has been the big difference? Because uh, obviously you've le- learned a lot in the process of releasing the first and the second. Yeah. Um, are you, I presume you're happier now that things are picking up a little bit more. Yeah. What What was the big difference for you between the two singles, let's say? Yeah, so the first one was very much my first one, yeah. um, Hannah Clue. Um, and I, it was really nice because I recorded it and wrote it with a good friend of mine, Rob mm. Shields. Um, and we had like a lot of fun doing it together. But... Yeah, the, I suppose the first one you're just contacting people, no one knows who you are, no yeah, one cares. It's tough. Yeah, um, and then for the second one, yeah, so I recorded the second one with Ben Wanders, mm-hmm. and he produced it and mixed it and all that. Um, and then, yeah, I think uh, I suppose like when you annoy people for a second time, they're a bit more like, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, just persistence. And I suppose I've learned a lot as well over the last. Um, over the last year and I've gone to a lot of like talks because Dublin is so good for like meeting other musicians yeah. and like everyone is so generous with their time so if there's someone like if you go to a talk or that and you go up to them afterwards and ask them a few yeah. questions like people are genuinely so happy to help um so kind of just been more per- more persistent and more kind of yeah meeting new people and asking mm. them what did you do and and all that um yeah and I suppose no, you're, just, you're really on the right track like it's, <laughs> thank like, you genuinely because you, look you know it's incredibly saturated Mm -hmm. you know music is coming out every day i I can't remember what the stat is but it's something like i don't know like a a trillion songs get uploaded to spotify every day yeah and they're also good as well yeah a lot of them are you know it's like it's like yeah and 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 of course you know we we judge our own music very differently than than the stuff we listen (laughs) to and and when we hear our own music and the songs we've worked on obviously in our minds um you know you can kind of hear the work and things like that too Mm -hmm. but but what i'm trying to say is like yeah of the um of of a lot of the people releasing music, your stuff is is popping out there, and it's it's great to see you know because <laughs> at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what your marketing's like. If if the song's not good, it's not really going to go anywhere. So obviously, you've got that. Um, and then yeah, to be able to apply some of what you've learned and and get that result is fantastic. Thank you. So moving ahead, we are going into September. Yes. Looking at single number three. Uh, do you, have you chosen the song? Yes, the next one is going to be now. Okay, I'm going to sound a bit weird about the sky, but it's going to be called Thunder and Lightning. Okay, that's um, fine. So, yeah, getting closer to that whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> back down to Earth. <laughs> the moon can't back have storms, can it? Can it? I don't think the moon can have thunder and lightning, right? I don't think so. I don't so, think so. No. <laughs> if someone knows, they can text in and uh, we'll read it on the next show if we won't. Uh, anyway, Thunder and Lightning, sorry. Yeah, so Thunder and Lightning is my next one. So I've been singing that at a lot of gigs lately. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's been the most one that everyone's like, oh, cool. where can I hear that? So that's the next one um, to satisfy, yeah. <laughs> those, <laughs> satisfy people. those people. Those people. And presumably getting... the other people who yeah. also like it. <laughs> and the other people who will eventually love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's my next one. And then hoping to release my EP in October time. Wicked. Um, yeah, with Great. a couple of more songs. Maybe not all sky related, but Aww. good nonetheless. I hope we got like, clouds, <laughs> birds. What else is in the sky? What else is in the sky, children? <laughs> this is turning into a weird show. But yeah. listen, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on and listen to the song you did live in studio mm-hmm. now in a moment. Yeah. Uh, Letters is what it's called. Yes, and this is gonna this is gonna appear on the EP. You were saying most yeah. likely, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I wrote this song. So it was a friend from when I lived in the Netherlands and we were really close, but he's one of those people that's really bad at staying in touch mm-hmm. and like every now and get, then we'll go through a phase of deleting social media and all that. Mm. Um, so the only way for me to get in touch with him was a letter. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So um, the song sounds quite sad, but the good news is, is that he got my letter and he got in touch with me and he's Excellent. okay and he's very sorry and he knows to never do it again <laughs> but, i'm terrified now yeah so, what did you do <laughs> no <laughs> Don't but cross it's, so but it's just so it's kind of a reminder to anyone that if you have a friend that mm. you haven't seen in a while and you might be a little bit worried about mm, them or out. someone who's a bit introverted and doesn't know how to reach out for help just to maybe give them a text yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Or send or them a letter. letter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if they've deleted all their social or media. Or carry a pigeon, you know. <laughs> Whatever you I can do. Yeah. Um, one more thing before we listen to, to letters. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roulette. It's not your name. It's your granny's maiden name. It is. Sorry, I've spoiled this whole story. How, <laughs> how did you come up with the name Roulette? Yeah. So, yeah, it's my granny's maiden name. So, um, yeah, my granny, she loved my music and oh, she wow. would always be so happy whenever I'd 
<laughs> one of the few people who'd be so happy to see me come along with the guitar <laughs> and didn't ask me could I do it another time <laughs> um, yeah so she was she was a really sweet lady and she was always super encouraging right. and um, I just thought it'd be a really nice wow. way to honour her and I thought it's a nice name as well so I said why not it'd be yeah so. so yeah lovely fitting tribute and uh, and also it's cool man it's cool to have a stage name thank you you know it's kind of different <laughs> yeah it's better than Sarah <laughs> ah yeah well you know so uh, thank you so much for joining us on thank the show thank you so much for having me um, I really yeah. appreciate it do, do you keep sending on the music keep making your tunes great great quality stuff uh, we will always be happy to give it a spin thank and uh, for those listening at home uh, if you want to find Rolette's music uh, Facebook Instagram is probably the best place yep and just Spotify spell it out YouTube. for everyone yeah so it's R-O-W-L-E-T-T-E so Rolette Music and you'll find me wherever wherever all over the place wherever you prefer I'll be there waiting excellent excellent um, and so with that yeah once again thank you so much and uh, thank you let's have a listen to Letters by Roulette Hey how you doing it's been a while and lately I've been kind of missing your smile. I tried to call you, but the number wouldn't dial. Oh, how are you? Is everything alright? I've been thinking. So I but my thoughts together and I lay them on a page in the format of a letter and I send it to that address that I visited last year I know you liked that apartment I hope they are still there cause I miss you and I'd really like to talk and talk Tell you that enough and oh I miss you And I'd really like to talk And you should come to visit Like you said that you would do We can light up and lay low Like we used to can watch all of those movies you couldn't believe I didn't know and show you the sets of those stories I told you long ago and we can drink whiskey you said I have to cause I'm Irish and then I'll watch you do the worst best impression of a Jake and you say you hate dancing but always had so much fun when we did and then we'll drink too much and spill our souls until five or six and oh I miss you and I'd really like to talk and oh I love you did I tell you that enough and oh I miss you and I'd really how is work? Are you busy? Are you still saving lives? Maybe that's why I haven't heard You just haven't had the time And you're still the one I think of When anyone gets sick You never had a clue but always acted like you did Oh, and I don't pray But kind of praying that you'll call And I know that that will make you laugh You believe in nothing at all And I know that people have been always Treated you like they should But don't give up on everyone Cause most of us are good and I miss you And I'd really like to talk and talk I love you Did I tell you that enough and oh I miss you And I'd really like to talk and talk I love you Did I tell you Tell you that enough and all
Rolette there with letters. Uh, speaking of letters, mm. uh, you need letters to spell words, uh, and a word uh, that we know is Whelan's. Whelan's, yeah? And can you spell that for us? W H E L A N S is Whelan's. Whelan's dot com. That's not even the name of their website. It's Whelan's Live dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, gosh. That was a terrible segue. Whelan's will be hosting uh, over the next few days. In fact, I do believe starting tonight, Friday the 2nd, Saturday the 3rd, Sunday the 4th, and Monday the 5th over this long weekend, uh, the Blues Roots and Brass Festival. A uh, wonderful festival that uh, we have attended uh, or performed at over the f- past number of years. And uh, on the Monday, uh, the Dublin City Rounders will be performing there again, which is uh, really cool for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, but for everyone else, uh, what's also cool is there's what well, fantastic uh, music every single day uh, from Friday to Monday at Whelan's. If you are into your rhythm and roots and blues and brass and all that kind of stuff, uh, we got the Mary Stokes Band, uh, Barefoot Magicians. We got Desert Aces there in here a while ago. Desert Aces. Uh, Not to guest. be confused with Desert Aces. No. Totally different band. No, we don't allow them on the show. Desert Aces, though, great band. We had them on the show a little while back. Uh, Crow Black Chicken as well. Great, uh, great act performing. Dublin Blues Cartel, Delta Fuse, uh, loads. Uh, also, um, where is he now? Oh, Mike Brookfield Band as well. Great, great band. TBC uh, are playing. TBC, great band. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, get down to Whelan's. All of the uh, shows are free entry, so absolutely no excuses. Uh, main venue and upstairs. Uh, get down, enjoy some good music. Speaking of good music, we've got some more good music. This is the Booger Swamp great band named Booger Swamp <laughs> Rhythm Section. Uh, they keep the old songs alive and present them with real musicians playing them. Absolutely brilliant. This is one of their tracks from the uh, Booger Swamp Rhythm Section uh, and it's called I've Got a Mansion. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below A little silver and a little gold But in that city where the red sun will shine I want a gold one that silver line and I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow and someday yonder we will never more Walk on streets that are pure as gold. Don't think me poor, poor deserted or lonely. I'm not discouraged. I'm heaven bound I'm just a pilgrim In search of a city I want a mansion A harp and a crown I've got a mansion Just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow old. And someday yonder we will never more wander But walk on streets that are pure as gold And someday yonder we will never more walk 
Bulga Swamp rhythm section there with I've Got a Mansion. Next up, we are playing a, a Gabriel Brady song, Gabby Brady, uh, releasing new music at the moment. This is a song called Patsy Paparazzi. Uh, he is also doing a show uh, at no, on November 8th at the Asgard Theatre in Arklo. So do put that in your diary if you do like your, uh, what do you call it, sometimes aggressive, sometimes mellow uh, punk folk stylings of, of Gabby Brady. And uh, do enjoy this new kind of, I guess it's kind of a, a, a post-punk kind of uh, feel to this track. This is Gabby Brady with Patsy Paparazzi and get down November 8th to Asgard Theatre Arclo to catch him live. <laughs> Uh, we got time for one more tune, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a little listen to a song called The Mother-in-Law Boogie mm. by Earl and Joyce Songer. And thank you once again uh, to our lovely guests, our fantastically talented guests this week, Zoe Clark and Rolette. Do get online and follow their music wherever you can. Uh, and, yeah, tune in next week. Thank you so much for listening. We will be back next Friday, 4.30 on Near FM 90.3 for another episode of 
Rhythm and Roots with more wonderful guests. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do enjoy the mother-in-law boogie and good night. Good night. To the dancing floor, she wasn't good, but she ain't no more. I'm taking her home to my mother-in-law. Mother-in-law